You can't come into this ball game being complacent or this team will hurt you. And that's the biggest thing that they have to overcome today in this ball game. Citadel wins the toss. They accept. They want the football, so they will have it first this afternoon on what is a gorgeous day here on the capstone. Inside handoff, and that'll be good enough to move the chains out over the 35. Give them four yards. This is what happened. That Alabama defense was giving up 52 yards a game. Georgia Southern rushed for 302. Head coach Nick Saban took his team back to 2011 this week, too. Said he showed him that game film to make sure he had their attention. Such a different offense to defend. So third down and one. Handoff going left side, and I don't know if he got it. It's going to be real close. And they have gotten so much better here in the second half of the season from what was already a pretty solid group. There goes Rainey. He gets it down to the 41, and there's a loose football. They're going to say he's down, and that's another Bulldog first down. That's a run of seven. Third down, and let's call it seven and a half. Rainey keeps it, and he has dropped right at the 40. He may have lost a yard. So a chance to see Tua perhaps throw the football here on third and seven. Here comes some heat. He'll go deep over the middle. Pass is caught. Easy route. Jalen Waddle with the catch across midfield. Alabama 54%, third in the country on third down conversions. Plenty of time for Tua, but he'll have to scramble out now. Tua will try to run for it. He will stay on his feet, still dancing around to the 30-yard line. That'll be a first down after a 16-yard game. And the knee is not an issue. Josh Jacobs to the game at running back. They will give it off to Waddle, and he will turn the corner close to a 10-yard pickup right at the line to gain. Alabama averaging 48 and a half points a game. Third best in the country. Trying to put up their first points this afternoon. Going to the end zone here, and there it is. Touchdown, Alabama. 21 yards. Jalen Waddle with the touchdown catch. That handoff off the right side, close to the 29-yard line. Lorenzo Ward on that carry. He'll pick up six, and... That's another first down. Toss sweep. Ooh, big hit just across midfield. A gain of 21. Alabama player is down. Here's second down. There's another big collision right there. That one coming from Raquan Davis. Loss of a yard. Some pressure comes, picked up by Alabama. Tua trying to run for it, and he'll be dropped around the 15-yard line. He'll get six yards, but the Citadel will force Alabama to punt on their second possession. Even for the best defense, you know, around the country, it's just hard to stop, and I'm not shocked by it. There's the pitch. There's some running room down the right side. Dante Smith, touchdown, Citadel, 45 yards. Alabama had gone 11 plus quarters without allowing a point. Very interesting, Peter. You don't see it a whole lot. Of course, Georgia Tech is at least the second half of the season starting to play pretty well under that Paul Johnson offense. It has given Georgia some fits over the years. Of course, those two teams will play next week in Athens here. Tonga Valoa coming near side, gets it to Jacobs, and he has hit it. And knocked out of bounds. Harrison Jacobs in the backfield. They'll split Jacobs out wide. Now over the middle. Pass is caught. Judy spins out of trouble. Loose football down on the turf. Citadel says they have it, and they do. My goodness. My goodness. Jerry Judy trying to make a play. Couldn't hold on to the football. 
There's the option play that they were able to bust for a 45-yard touchdown on their last drive. Loses a yard this time. Jennings, these punt returns can also be considered an offensive play for Alabama, the way Waddle can return punts, averaging almost 15 per return. Fifth best number in the country. He stands inside the 20. An opportunity to field this. I think he lost it in the sun. Couldn't find it, and it'll roll inside the 10, and that's what he says as he runs off. I couldn't see it. Couldn't find it. And they also self scout this sell every Monday, which I thought was pretty unique. Najee Harris hurdles a man, still on his feet, running hard out over the 40. And find a way to get going. Tua. Passes caught. What a grab by Jerry Judy as he got hit immediately. Held on to it. Four man rush. Coverage downfield pretty solid, but Irv Smith wide open at the chains on the far side. The Mackey Award finalist. And everybody's walking back. Holding on the offense, number 66. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay, first down. Deontay Brown, by the way, out today, has turf toe. Coach said it wasn't because of Sewell. He wouldn't have played if it was the Auburn game this week. Just trying to get him healthy down the stretch. Wide side throw to Judy. Bobbled it and it popped out into the Citadel bench. Let's they talk about it on the far side. It'll be a 22 yard pickup if it holds. Yeah, Dave, I don't think he had control of it as he came down. But Alabama driving right now. First down and 10. They called it a catch by Jerry Judy. Didn't take him long to figure that out. Trying to set up a little wide receiver screen. They do so. Pass is caught by Ruggs. He's inside the 20 down to the 14 yard line. 22 yard pickup. Third down, though, and a couple of yards coming up for Alabama. Tua coming near side, looking to throw, stops, fires, is hit, and dropped. Looking for rugs in the end zone. 23-yard attempt on the way. Bullivis, 10 of 14 on the year. Had a career-long 49-yarder last week against Mississippi State, and this one is through the uprights and good. So Alabama reclaims the lead. It's 10-7. Third down and short. Toss sweep coming this side. That'll be a first down for the Citadel. Over the 35. Gain of four on the play. And it is not fun. Here's Rainey trying to turn the corner. Breaks a tackle. Still on his feet across midfield. And he's dropped around the 48. Smith bringing him down. And there comes some flags late. Alabama looks like they might be getting a little frustrated. And the frustration set in. After the play was over. Personal foul on the defense, number 32. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. But now, as the middle of the year, the end of the year come on, he is definitely taking on the challenge. Second down. Rainey trying to throw it. That didn't work. As soon as he looked up field, Jennings was right in his face. A loss of four. This will be from 48 yards and to tie it up right before halftime. Kick is on the way, and it is good. My, oh, my. Alabama and the Citadel are tied at 10. Deontay Wilder coming to talk to him early in the year, and he said, hey, everybody's going to get punched in the face. It's all about how you respond. And right now, they got punched in the face in the first half. How will they respond? Another pooch kick. This will be dropped at the 32-yard line. And the Citadel says they have it. Oh, my goodness. Right side, nowhere to go. That'll be a loss maybe of a half a yard. Godek is hit from 48. This from the near hash, 40 yards away. A flag is down. The kick was good. Ball start on the offense, number 54. Now from 45. Godek has hit nine straight after he missed his opening field goal of the season. 
Kick is on the way, and it is no good. The penalty keeps three off the board for the Citadel. 8 of 12, 144 yards, and one touchdown. That came on the opening drive. He will throw on first down here. Nice grab. Good looking catch from Henry Ruggs. But today, 10 10 at the half with the Citadel. There's Ruggs again as he slips as he crosses the 40. That'll be good enough to move the chains. He picks up, well, let's give him six. Another play fake. Going deep. There's Ruggs. He'll be run out of bounds around the five yard line. He beats Chris Beverly. Pressure comes to the end zone. A leaping grab. Touchdown, Alabama. Jalen Waddell with his second today. Little pitch. Alabama played it well. A fumble, loose ball, picked up by the tie. No whistle, touchdown, Alabama. Anthony Jennings with the scoop and score. Third down and five. The Citadel, five out of 10 converting. Make it five out of 11. Quinnen Williams. His dad, uh, I think, made a great decision sending him to Alabama. He's definitely paid it off with his play at the end of last year and starting this year. Here's Judy coming near side. He has broken a few ankles this year with some of these moves. <laughs> Saw one last week against Mississippi State. He is a, a fun guy to watch with the football in his hands. The pressure comes. Alabama picks it up all day. Over the middle is Irv Smith. The tight end. What a move at midfield. Irv on the run. He's to the 30. Irv is inside the 10, and he will score. 68 yards. Athleticism, speed, he's got it all. And the point after hits the left upright. Well, that has been an issue. The Military School of South Carolina with an enrollment of 2,300. What's Alabama? I think Alabama's like 38,000 or something like that. Wow. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a big compare. <laughs> Toss sweep. Not happening there for Sessions. He's tripped up after a gain of two on the play. But he didn't ask out to make a chance of seeing it. Here goes Waddle coming near side and Makes a man miss, now dancing around and makes something out of nothing. Gain of nine, let's go down to Dawn. It'll be interesting to see if, if he does take a snap or two today. I think at some point you gotta figure out what he can do with right. Auburn and Georgia coming up. Judy wide open around the 35. Boy, there's, this turf is a little bit slick today. We have seen quite a few players trying to turn the corner and. But he's a special player, can run every route in the route tree. Six catches, 77 yards for Judy. Here's Najee Harris, who had an explosive run in the first half. Picks up seven on this carry. Alabama's only rushed for 74 yards today. Two over the middle, pass is caught. Ruggs turns and falls inside the 15. Give him 15 yards on that catch. And to his numbers now up to 341 yards through the air. We'll throw again. Tua. He will try to run for it. He's inside the five and he falls down to the two yard line. I know everybody here takes a deep breath, but I mean, he's a competitor and wanted the touchdown. But you can put to rest anything about that knee. Tua. On a quarterback keeper, let's see if they will give him the touchdown, and they do. Well, the machine wasn't working to full capacity in the first half, but the machine is back, facing a Citadel team on third down, and Rainey could not pick it up. They are now 0 for 4 on third down conversions here in the second half. Line up in the pistol formation. They'll hand it off to Damian Harris. Cut back. Damian in the open field. It's now a foot race. 
to the 20 and chased down inside the 10 yard line. They will spot him at the seven. And Harris is slow to get up after the 73 yard trot. Here's Hertz on the run, bad ankle and all. We'll throw to the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. Jalen Hurts looking fine as he hits Devontae Smith in the end zone. It may not be 100%, but it certainly looks good enough. Another extra point. This can be returned for two. See what they do here. It's a foot race. Bowers thrown out of bounds by Bulovus, who has now missed two extra points today. That's the second one that's been blocked this year. Everybody gets better because you kind of have to reinvent the wheel yeah. a little bit. And for this defense, it's all about their eyes and where they go with this offense. There goes Rainey, turns the corner, he'll pick up three, and that'll be enough to move the chains. So think same class of footwork and balance as Aaron Donald, but just bigger. How about that? He said he's going to be real successful at the next level. And we're getting word that perhaps he'll move up a few slots in the next Todd McShay draft board. And now Deontay Thompson, who was on that list, by the way, is slow to get up. As he heads into the tent. On third down and short, Rainey turns the corner and he'll have enough. Or well, looks like they're going to spot it right at the line to gain. Rainey, he falls across the midfield stripe and he'll pick up eight. Tripped up by McKinney. Him and Calamaria at the top. On fourth down, there's the pitch, turn the corner. There goes Dante Smith again. The second time, is this 40? Four yards. His first one was 45 yards. But I was too. I love to see tight ends make plays as well. And Irv Smith is at the top of the list of those in the country. One catch, he went 68 yards, and it produced a touchdown. Ryan Robinson bringing that one out to about the 45 yard line. In a moment, we will. Drum roll figure out who your winner is. Here's Hertz, drop backs coming near side and passes caught there by Waddle. He has been something to watch. I mean, just every time he's on the field, you're waiting for him to do something amazing. Najee Harris running hard. And speaking of Kentucky, let's get an update with Peter in the studio. Uh, Josh must have been listening to DJ. No doubt. I mean, PB coming through the clutch Josh Allen sack. And we couldn't time that up any better. Near side pass caught by Ruggs. He'll spin out of bounds. Well, they are far from that number. Little pump fake. Hurts to the end zone. And Judy got caught up in some traffic, and a flag comes out. Four star quarterback coming out of high school was the 18th ranked. Pro style QB hands it off to Robinson. That'll be a touchdown from two yards out. His second touchdown of the year for the sophomore from right here in Tuscaloosa. Last minute, like last quarter, collapses. They could be a lot better than their record states. There's a pitch, nowhere to go. Dante Smith this time wrapped up by Keaton Anderson. Flag on the play, by the way. Wait for the call here. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct on the defense number 40. Yeah, you turn on the film and watch some of the big plays they gave up today and the lack of execution on certain plays. Definitely be something to work on. Smith can't pick it up. After the play was over, personal foul hits Alabama number nine. 15-yard penalty. Since the foul occurred after the play, it will be first down Alabama. Third down and short. Handoff inside goes to Clark. He'll pick up five. And they'll keep the clocks moving. Enrollment of 2,300. Four and five on the year, but gave Alabama all they wanted. And the tide came out, though, in the third quarter and put it into that. And they will win this one 50 to 17. And they go to 11 and 0.
And the first half wasn't pretty, but I think the second half really Alabama found their rhythm offensively. And, of course, I think for the most part figured out how to defend this option game yeah, of the Bulldogs. That was the key. Execution, details on defense, and offensively get back into that rhythm. And that young man right there, Tua Tagovailoa, played his heart out and continue to strive and play with it.